Hello everyone, I'm Anakin Blitz, and welcome back to another World of Tanks Blitz video. Today, um, is I'll be going over the Black Friday event, which has just started today, um, and um, going over all the deals in the store, what is worth getting and what is not worth getting. So, starting off under offers, um, let's go over the tanks. So, um, they are selling, uh, four, um, five um tier 8 um tanks for 5000 gold except um two of them being 4500 gold um that already is just a really good deal because um even like the um the worst tier 8 premiums like the tech tree ones are 7000 gold usually so um most of these tanks cost at least 10000 gold when they're sold so um um the object 25 to you this is just such a good deal that um it's going to screw up matchmaking of course but you need to get this um this is just one of the most broken tier 8 tanks it is, of course, um, used the most in Tier 8 comp, so if you ever play Tier 8 tournaments, you need this tank. Um, they are really good in ratings and in random battles, just everything. Grinding your stats, um, earning credits. This tank is just so um, OP, and the fact that they're selling it, this tank is usually sold for, uh, last time it was sold for 10k and 8.5k, um, and this tank shit is like a really, um, for 5,000 gold, that's just such um, a good price. So, definitely, um, a tank to pick up in the store and um what else is there well we have the lorraine 40t which is a um fun french um auto loader uh medium tank uh tier 8 so this is um i'd say it's um well it's not really um a tank for all players it requires skill for it so um not really like a player a tank for everyone but if you love this type of tanks then it might be um a tank to pick up you can see that um, it has a four shell auto loader, and um, it's a little um, tricky to play though. But that's the Lorraine 40T for 5,000 gold. It's not a bad deal at all. All of these tanks for these prices are not really bad deals. T265 is not a bad tank either. This is a sheriff, um, so yeah, it's like got good um, front hull armor on the turret, um, decent, like not the best hull armor, um, and then a good gun. So um, yeah, that's the um, T265 is also a pretty decent tank. Um, so we have the T34-3, which is also a pretty fun tank since it has a 400 alpha on a medium tank. So uh, this is a pretty fun tank to play, and for 4,500 gold, that's also a really good deal. So all of these are really good deals. And then we have the VK168, which is like mm, not the best tank out there, but it's still, for this price, it's decent. And also it's really fun in gravity because this tank weighs 168 tons, which is a lot. Um, because the VK-101P, um, which is the other tier 8 super heavy, only weighs, uh, 120-ish tons, so the 168 is really heavy, um, but not really the best tank out there. VK-100, I'd say, is probably a better tank than the 168, but, um, now we have some tier 7s, the ISU-122S, which is meh, not really, like, um, something too special. It's got, um... 400 alpha so um the gun is not that bad but overall it's nothing special nothing special for a tier 7 tank destroyer uh we have the fv201 which is not like a bad tank it's kind of like an um like an action x kind of in tier 7 kind of thing but a little worse obviously so it's got a really high dpm low alpha gun uh good turret armor and decent mobility um that's the fv201 then we have the um, Type 64 and the Panzer 4S. Type 64 is just a fun tank because it's really fast. Um, it goes 72 km per hour top speed with a uh, 39 average, so it's a fast tank and it's fun in gravity, stuff like that. So Panzer 4S is also a really strong tank because it's got pretty good armor like on the, the sides, has those little things just like the East Fat TS. It's got um, pretty good frontal hull and turret armor, so overall it's a really strong gun because, um, or not a gun, a tank, because it has a really accurate gun also, extremely accurate gun, a really good gun overall, so, uh, that's the Panzer for us, and those are the, um, tanks being sold in the offers for gold, so, definitely the 2.5 to use, the number one tank that you should pick up in this entire Black Friday sale, because this is just one of the strongest tier 8 tanks, and for being sold for such a cheap price, 5,000 gold, that's definitely something that you need to get. It also gives you 100 things, and I'll explain all those things and how the event works in, um, in a minute. So, looking more at the rest of the store, we have those mystery boxes, which I would definitely not suggest, especially when you can get, uh, like, 2 5 twos and really good tanks. Um, IS-6 with combat trophies. Okay, I was actually going to make a video on the IS-6 and like a should I buy it type of video or should you buy it type of video on the IS-6. And 
um, that was yesterday that I was gonna make a video on it, um, 5,005 gold, and in the video I basically said, like, um, yes, it's worth getting, but then, hold up, um, 5,500 gold. You can literally get an object 2-5 to you for cheaper, which is a much, much better tank. The I-6 is a decent tank, but it's been power crept. It's just not really much compared to everything. And when you have the object 2-5 to you for basically the same price, um, forget about the I-6. 2-5 um, to you is the way to go. Even though the I-6 has premium um, and equipments, or, well, I guess the 2-5 to you has equipments, but it has 30 days of premium times 5 boosters credits. Still, it's just not worth it. When you compare it, especially when you have the 2 5 So if you didn't get this tank yet and you were planning on getting the I-6, do not get it. Go for the 2 5 if you have the gold. Um, we have the shark, which I kind of made videos on already. Um, and then let's just go into bundles. So we have black boxes. So um, you can watch like Drudel's video and then um, other YouTubers' videos. Uh, basically, just the moral of the story is don't buy these. Because if you want to actually get like the level 10 boxes, um, I think Drudel said it was like one in like a million or something chance of getting it and then it's just you won't get it's just not worth it you're gonna waste all your money on this dumb uh black boxes e25 is actually um not a bad deal this one because um the e25 is a really fun and um strong tier 7 tank destroyer it's got a really high dpm 3k dpm 160 um alpha with a really short three um second okay i'm getting spammed with invites kind of annoying um not the best penetration on standard but it's got 250 heat penetration it's a really mobile tank destroyer as you can see it's also super tiny so it has a very good camo rating this tank is just really sneaky and when you like flank around and just start unloading your dpm this tank can just be really op especially when you're undetected e25 for that price is actually a really good deal um and you're getting also 25 times Five boosters for um some credit um rare free XP combat um all that types of stuff and then fifty of those coupons um and then we have some just some gold deals um around that just like give some things along with the coupons um we have the M4 FL10 which definitely you should not buy especially with all these other things up on the store now um and then these are all the gold things which you can see are on um have like um, these top three are basically like special things for Black Friday only. So if you've been thinking of getting these for stocking up on gold or anything like that, these might be good for you. Um, and also, I'm pretty sure tanks are on sale. No, not these tanks, but um, premium is also on sale. Um, so what are those coupon things? Because you'll see them on every purchase site, right? Like the 252, for example, it says it comes with 100 coupons. Um, the e, um, E25 bundle, for example, that comes with 50 coupons. So what are the coupons? Well, if you um, go to this tab over here, you'll see this little Black Friday event screen. And this is where you spend those coupons on. So basically, the coupons will get you various rewards, including like tank research certificates, dumb um, boosters. I don't even know why you would want to spend those on those. Um, premium time, tier 10 research, 15k free XP, 200k credits, and the type 62. After the Type 62 is the M4A1 Rev, after that is the Action X, and after that is the Scorpion G. Um, it's going to be um, a lot, um, you're going to have to spend a lot though to get through all those tanks because um, just you have to buy each tank at a time. So 250, you have to get the Type 62, you have to get the, um, the Rev, you have to get the Action X, you have to get the... Uh, Scorpion G, you have to get all those, and that's a crazy amount of coupons you have to use. But you have some other good deals here, like free XPs. If you're looking for free XPs, that's good for you. Credits would not really be something, but I mean, if you're free to play that doesn't have premium tanks, then credits would be fine. Um, premium time is also not bad. Um, I have a bunch of premium time, but a lot of people don't. Um, and tank research certificates are also really nice. So overall, this is a pretty um, decent. I'd say that it's not really worth um, when they did this tank thing. I'd say that's not really worth it, but. Um, basically for every store thing that you purchase, um, like, w whether it's one of these tanks or if it's one of these bundles, you'll get those certificates and those are not certificates, I mean coupons, and you can spend those coupons to get different, um, things, as you can see here. So, I would probably just, in my opinion, I would not go for this, unless if you're actually, um, unless if it's like, for example, I want the Type-C2 really bad or something like that, but if you want, like, the Action X, which is what I want, or it's Scorpion G, then you're going to have to go through all these. You're going to have to spend so many coupons and stuff. It's not going to be worth it. Meanwhile, for the same um, price, you can literally just, well, for the same amount of, like, um, for everything that you spent when you add up all that stuff for the, um, the like, the Action X or whatever you're trying to get, you can get 
a ton more of these tanks. You can get some gold, you can get some, um, like, D25, you can get all these other things. You can also stock up on gold for blitz fairs. There's so many better things that you can do. Um, so, yeah, um, that's how the coupons work, basically. Um, so, the black boxes I would definitely not suggest, even though the choice is up to you, but they're just not gonna... Mystery boxes are still better than the black boxes. Mystery boxes at least have a pretty good chance of getting you a tank, or at least some gold or free XP. Black boxes are just gonna be, like, you're gonna regret it so much. You're just gonna regret it, and they're just way more expensive than the mystery boxes. The mystery boxes are still better, and I would not suggest the mystery boxes still. There's just so many better things you can spend everything on, rather than dumb crates and stuff. So, um, that's basically all for the store and for the Black Friday event, uh, this year. So, um, Black Friday 2020 is, like, not bad. I'd say that there's, like, yeah, there's, um, not really t the most stuff to choose from. Um, there's, but the tanks that you can choose from are pretty decent. Like, the 252U is a really, really strong OP tank that, um, you should definitely pick up. Lorraine, T2065 are decent, T34 is decent, uh, VK is meh. Um, but still, for the prices, they're just, um, that's just pretty crazy. Especially for a lot of people that have, like, not much gold. They can, you can still pick up a tier 6, um, premium. And that will be perfect for you grinding credits. Because I know a lot of people have, like, 2,000 gold or 1,500 gold, and then they can't afford a premium tank. Um, that's the time to get them now, during Black Friday. But definitely, especially for any of my clan members watching this video, get the 25 to you, please. Because we're using it in tournaments. It's just such an OP tank. We need it in tournaments. They're just going to be spammed everywhere, obviously. So... Yeah, 252U. Um, also, I'm going to be making a guide on the 252U. By the way, I didn't buy the 252 from here. I spent 10k gold on the 252U because I didn't get it uh, when I should have gotten it just now. But, yeah, definitely um, the 252U is the best out of everything here. But I'm going to make a guide review on the 252U um, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to have this tank. A lot of people are not going to know how to play it. A lot of people are going to need some help on this tank. So... I will make a video on the 252. But that will be all for this video, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.